That's a lot of figs. Hey guys, welcome to The Cool Factor. My name is Mike and today we are hopefully getting the entire collection of Disney minifigure series 2, Lego collectible minifigures. I was standing in the store for about two hours trying to get those guys all in place like every other customer out there tried to feel for that special piece that was there and I got 18 bags so hopefully there are no repeats, there is no cheating here. If I do have a repeat it's gonna be on the video. 18 of these guys and uh, yeah, let's get these open. Oh, don't mind the friend's uh, keychains, that was my wife's idea for a birthday party. Or I just like friend's keychains, you never know. Got my magical scissors and random bag number one. And I just noticed that my microphone was away for a second, so... First minifigure we have Edna, she does come with a very surprising connection of dual face expression face, a minifigure head, and also a hair mold that is including her glasses with a eye print. So, never seen that before, it looks like a helmet. The way you feel for her is obviously you just captured that helmet style of her. It looks like that helmet from Lord Helmet from the space balls. She also does come with a pretty new mold, I think that's um, the first time we see it, of a, a mini cup, like a, like a coffee cup. You actually get two of these in the back, so you can feel for both. There's an extra one, uh, I think it's a purse or some sort of a folder that she's holding, plus short legs, so it's really not that hard to find her. Nice minifigure, no printed legs, very simple print for her outfit, but that helmet and the, the coffee cup actually makes her pretty unique. So there it is, the first one. Minifigure number two. Second Edna, no, just kidding. Whoop. Scrooge McDuck. What an excellent minifigure. I think, honestly, from the very ground up, that might be my favorite from this series. First of all, we get an exclusive head mold for his unique Scrooge McDuck head with the bina binacles, big eyes, plus the top hat that connects to a hole in the head. So that's pretty unique right there. You also get his lucky dime and his, uh, his walking stick, I guess. Plus a lot of prints. Uh, legs are fully printed also on the sides and there's the uh, arm printing for his detailing for his outfit. You get a rubbery duck tail from the duck tails, duck tails, duck tail. <laughs> a wordplay if you may. And the dime and the stick are also extras in the back so you can pretty easy feel for them. If you rattle the back they will fall for the bottom and then you can feel the little uh, round tile plus the stick so you got yourself Scratch McDuck confirmed because nobody else get this combination of pieces. Very cool minifigure like this one, classic Disney character that is being added to this collection to everybody's joy. Third minifigure commencing. There is Sally. Another absolutely amazing print. We have received her in the form of a brick head not that long ago. That brick head was flying off the shelf, so I can say that character along with uh, Jack Skellington are very popular. Now we have the minifigure of her, excellent printing all around. Her outfit is very unique and they did a really excellent job portraying all those small patches and textures of her outfit all over the place. Really, I, I don't think I've seen such detailed printing for a long time now. Plus you get a very unique color for the skin tone. It's somewhat of a... I, I, I wonder if that glows in dark. I got, I'm gonna have to check that out, but I don't think we ever seen uh, or very rarely seen a minifigure in this skin tone of sort of a ocean pale blue, pale green sort of thing, like a zombie skin obviously. We get arm printing as well, uh, leg printing all around, including toes. Kind of unique hair mold with a long hair in, uh, in this dark red color, the black uh, pa plant that I don't think this piece uh, along with the flower uh, that's on top of that came out in the black color at any point in time. So a lot of uniqueness in this figure and I'm sure she's gonna be a fan favorite. Mystery bag number four. No doubles yet. I totally forgot this guy's name from the Aladdin. Mustafa was in Lion King, right? Okay, uh, I'm gonna put it on the screen now. You get the snake stuff along with that. A very unique um, cape with only one hole for the, for the neck. So I, I don't think I've seen this type of cape before. There is usually like two uh, intersecting and connecting to, to the neck. Then you have some sort of pauldrons and a very unique looking uh, headgear. 
that is only unique to this minifigure as far as I'm concerned right now. Two face expressions that are looking very unique. He does have a very uh, specific looking type of face kind of that you don't really see in other minifigures. It looks very cartoony but that's how it's supposed to be. He's a, a cartoon character overall. So great minifigure, a bit higher than the usual ones because of the pieces used. There you go. So another figure I'm totally not disappointed about. Number five. And we have Jasmine. I'm so bad at Disney characters at this point, I don't remember half of the animal names or characters for that matter, so please forgive me. What was that name of the bird? I'm, I'm sure that bird had a name. But overall, first of all, you get a very unique rubbery hair mold with the long ponytail. That's the usual trait of her in the in the Disney movies. Printing on the arms, uh, also very nice color with the dark, a bit darker skin tone, plus contrasts very well in that teal color of her outfit. Every single minifigure in this series is, is quite unique in its own way. Numero six. Hey, it's a mini. I should have mentioned what you should feel for in every minifigure. I promised myself that, but I keep forgetting. So of course, just a reminder, uh, Sally would be the, the plant is the way to go for her. It's easy to feel. This guy, the stuff, the snake stuff gives it away quite easily. For her, it's a bit tricky because you have to find the bird and confirm that there is the hair mold with the long ponytail in this rubbery feel. So this, she's actually a, a bit difficult to find. But mini here is not difficult. First of all, you feel for this piece and she also comes with the skirt. So if you feel for the skirt and the pretty easy to spot uh, mouse head, then she's your mini figure in the back. She's a bit different version than the one that came out in the Steamboat Willie set, so people were asking like how are they different? I think the ones in the Steamboat Willie have the silver finish in some parts of the body. So there you go, the black and white Steamboat Willie version of Mini, and there is also Mickey should be somewhere in this collection. Boom. She also gets the extra head, so there is always that to feel for. Seven. Lucky seven. Okay, now I always forget which one is which. We have Huey, Dewey, Louie. Huey is, I think, red one, Dewey is blue one, and Louie is the green one. If I'm not correct, please correct me in the comments. Huey, the red guy, the red duckling, the red duck cousin, duckling, whatever. These are only two guys per box, so they are the most rare minifigures in this collection. Each one of them is appears only twice per 60. And it's been a while since I watched anything like DuckTales or whatever, so I'm not entirely sure what this book uh, does uh, refer to. I think it's some sort of a Boy Scout journal. Um, there is a compass or a map in there as a tile. But yeah, that's what you feel for. You feel for the book. And also the cap is pretty easy to, to spot because it's a quite unique mold. Fits head very well and of course his head is unique but it's harder to feel. So there you go. Huey. I think that's Huey. Or Dewey, but I think that's Huey. Boom. I wonder how long this video is gonna be. So if you're staying, Cool, make, some, make, make yourself some tea or coffee or get some cookies. We're gonna be here for a few more minifigures. And this is Dale. Oh my God, I love his head. <laughs> really cool with his like teeth. He has a bag of nuts. So things to feel for in this guy, obviously you get two round objects inside the minifigure. Feel for the bag and the head is a bit different in the feel. It's a, it feels a bit soft when you touch, it's a bit rubbery finish. The mold is excellent, very nice, very nice, very nice. And we should be able to find Chip soon. So there you go, one of my favorite characters from my childhood. Dale, the, the chipmunk, yeah, or, or the chipmunks, right? Woo, okay. No doubles so far, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's Ursula, right? That's her name. I think I remember that one. She's the easiest to feel for because of the big, massive special piece for her lower outfit, her Medusa or, or, or uh, octopus. But you get also a very special head. I think that specific mold appeared in one of the Marvel Ghost Rider sets with the flame hair. Now this time around we have the blue plastic transparent mold for her hair. Uh, looks very awesome. I remember that Ghost Rider minifigure being one of the most unique ones in that term and that type of mold appears back in this character. So very cool. I'm glad that they did a dual molding technique for that head. It looks really awesome. Uh, she also gets two flame elements. So those are the things you want to feel for if you are somehow not able to find this big piece. I think the easiest character to find given the size of it. Zero doubles. Full on win. That was close. I almost cut her um, cape. That's um, Elsa. Elsa, the Frozen. And my, 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 she is very detailed in, in, in the entirety of that character. Very cool cape. So one of the sides of the cape is excellently 
is that even a word? Printed with the pieces of uh, with snowflakes in silver. Those really shine through and they give you some of this excellent reflection. Yeah, the light just like shines against them making different colors. It's really cool. Also very unique uh, shape for that cape and also a single opening for the neck. So that's quite quite unique. I I've never seen Lego do that before. I think they they might have changed the types of capes to make it easier maybe. Two face expressions with a wink on one side and a smile. Uh, the long ponytail goes on the side of her. That's just like in the in the Frozen movie. And she also gets this quite unique massive snowflake in transparent. So that makes this minifigure full on super detailed when it comes to accessories and unique elements. And I think that might be second or maybe exactly what the best minifigure in this wave compared for me to Scrooge McDuck. Here's another character that has inside bag inside so that might be Anna. Nope that's Jack Skellington everybody. Okay this guy has a lot going on for him. First of all how do you call the tuxedo piece that extends his outfit at the very bottom that's a cloth piece. Uh, stripe printing all over the place both sides of the legs uh, side printing and also the outfit in the front and in the back. Very cool contrasting with the black uh, color of the minifigure's body and printing of stripes along the arms which is very hard to do actually. He gets this Jack Skellington face obviously a special piece for his bow tie of sorts along with uh, festive pauldrons of, of kinds that's that's making him look very close to the source material he also gets this unique present box that is actually open inside printed all around the place so very unique piece as well for uh, round tiles with um, snowflakes and two different prints so two of each that he can keep in the box and actually one in his hand. Minifigure that has a lot to offer and well, I like him quite a bit. Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> and this one is a very soft uh, cape, the soft clothed cape actually has two openings so that's an old style but the cape is quite unique in blue and a bit shorter than your usual one, also rounded up. Such a good minifigure, I like that the skin tone is just a bit darker than your usual skin tone so it makes him quite unique in that matter. We also get the printed shield with Zeus's thunder, um, I guess that's what it is. A very unique hair mold portraying his cartoon style of hair, also unique element and you get two swords so that is the thing to feel for the sword will always be at the bottom of the back excellent printing all around two legs printed from all sides two face expressions and overall i think this guy looks pretty decent we interrupt our program to bring you this important message and right at this moment my camera decided to die the battery got depleted i just noticed that a figure later so the minifigure i opened in this very moment was louis the last of the ducklings not much to say about him except for the fact that his exclusive accessory is a flashlight you actually get two of these in the bag so easy to feel four pieces when they fall to the bottom of the bag he comes with the very same pieces as the other guys he's just green and right in this next shot if you guys look at the table he's standing right next to hercules and i was actually glad that I noticed this moment so I did not have to redo the whole thing. And yep, he is the third of the rare ones, only two per box. Now back to our show. Next one up is Anna, the sister of Elsa and she also gets a very unique cape in one whole opening for the for the neck. Also, uh, the cape goes a bit to the front and it's uh, being held by the front ponytails. That's a rubbery piece that's also very unique to this character. Easy to find, rubber is squishy in the back so you can find that. And also excellent printing all around very accurate to the character you get the lantern piece that i think was first introduced in the 2018 harry potter wave as far as i remember she also gets a very cool thing uh, a wink on one of the face expressions and anna is winking her uh, right eye whereas elsa is winking her left eye so their sister is like wink wink doing both sides of wings for different characters so very cool nod there from lego for uh, showing that those are actually sisters in the movie and i'm gonna speed things up a bit here the next one that I just opened is Frozone and uh, he's actually not the favorite character of mine because of how simple this how outfit looks and he actually well does look simple so compared to the other minifigures in this series he's not the best one and will not be the popular one the character looks a bit simpler than usual he gets uh, two of those power blast elements in transparent and also a very cool rounded extra plate his disc that he flies on together with a one by two jumper that makes him looks like he's floating above your class stand of a minifigure so those are the elements you're gonna look for in the bag the jumper and the disc the, the round disc plus the power blasts are easy peasy to find the next one i opened is finally dewey uh, 
Dewey, Huey, Dewey, yeah, that's the last one, the blue guy, uh, same elements as the other ducklings, he does get the uh, slingshot, the slingshot element, you actually get two of these, so let them fall to the bottom of the bag, and that way you can just make sure the slingshot is there, and that's the only unique element, and I got all three of the rare ones uh, completed, so two more bags to go, yes, Chip, oh, I, I hoped I would get him, Chip has pretty much very similar um, head mold to, to Dale, so the only way to differentiate him from uh, Dale is to find the elements for his uh, for his nut. I forgot to mention that those guys have the chipmunk tail print on the back. Uh, just noticed that. I wasn't aware that there's there. I wish they had like a rubbery piece for the chipmunk tail like the ducklings have the rubbery piece for her duck the, their duck tails. Um, I wish that was instead of the print. I think it would have worked much better than it is. But still that head mold is excellent and he joins his friendly chipmunk Dale. The last one, who are we missing? Who's supposed to be there? Let me check. It must be Mickey. I hope it's Mickey. Mickey is easy to spot because he does have the big steering wheel from the Steamboat Willie in this set. This set, this minifigure collection. Yes, it's Mickey. I got them all. Win. Absolute win. So there you have Mickey. Absolute easy to find minifigure because of that massive chunk of a wheel. It's a one piece with a Technic bolt on one side and a lot of easy to fill elements. Big one, almost as easy as Ursula. Uh, he joins Mini. In this set, again, he's exclusive in a way that he does not have any silver finish on his print, only light bluish gray on his toes. But the minifigure is very similar to what you would get in the Steamboat Willy Ideas set. And that's all of it. That's 18 minifigures of Disney series 2 I got them all in one go no repeats all right guys and that's gonna be it thank you for staying with me I hope you made it to the end for this longer video always like opening a whole collection of minifigures in one go on the camera makes a lot of effort for me it took me like 30 gigabytes of data to record it in one go and I was really scared that I would have to repeat it or something or I would just have to tell you that I had doubles but I didn't it all paid off opinions solid solid we get some nice um, extensions of the character base from the Disney still characters are missing so I really hope for the minifigure series 3 to up here having the likes of Pluto, Goofy, uh, maybe different types of McDo uh, McDo <laughs> Donald Duck, that would be awesome. There's still plenty of characters uh, to go with. We have like characters from the Lion King, that's Disney right? Yeah that's Disney. So many so many things they can still do in the Disney minifigure series and I think they will because this is a franchise that will never end and I think Lego will still benefit from being partnered with Disney in so many ways beyond Star Wars minifigure uh, characters are one example of their great cooperation. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this longer opening video. No cheats, no lies, I got 18 guys, 18 bags, one bag at a time and I got everybody. So I hope it helps you find your collection, feel for the pieces I mentioned in this video, so you're gonna be as successful as I was. Thanks so much for watching, yes, as always, you can leave a like below and subscribe to the channel, click the bell button to get notifications for the new videos I'm gonna be making. Thank you so much again for watching, it was Mike, and we'll see you next time on The Cool Factor. Bye-bye! Yeah. <laughs>